It's something I hate to do as usual, but this this is something that <laughs> I don't know when we're gonna see the end <sighs> or close to the end of this particular situation, and that's police shooting unarmed black men. <laughs> But this one was a little bit different. This one was a little bit different, man. I mean, as far as the the case, it wasn't just a a black man, young black man being gunned down for no reason. This was the case of, uh, was Dante Wright? And being shot in his car after a traffic, during a traffic stop where the officer thought that she thought that she was tasing him and shot him in the chest area and he later died. Uh, unless you've been under a rock, you've seen this. And unfortunately, it it happened again in Minnesota. Yeah. You know, where we're still trying to get justice for the George Floyd situation happening out of Minnesota. So... I'm gonna I'm leave it there and then I'll, I'll pass it to y'all to give y'all opinions on what y'all think, you know, um, about this situation overall and what y'all think the outcome should be for this said officer who has since resigned uh, her as well as I think the police chief. I don't know if y'all seen that, but those two <coughs> have resigned behind this. So, Jay, what you, what you think about this situation, man? One, I just got a quick question. Like, what is exactly is a second degree manslaughter? I'll get that for you. One second. Because that right there doesn't even seem justifiable as far as what this is going on. And I'm not even going to go in too deep in it because I notice th- things like this is very emotional to the point where it's hard for you to even get your words out, what you want to say. But, man, bro, 20. What up? You got something for me? Mm-hmm. I was just waiting. I didn't want to interrupt you. <clears throat> but under the law, a person is guilty of manslaughter in the second degree when that person recklessly causes the death of another person. The following term used in that definition has a special meaning. A person acts recklessly with respect to a death when is what it says. But I'm so that's what she's getting charged with. Yeah. The minimum. Not, not, not murder, but yeah. Second yeah. degree manslaughter. Yeah. Um. Now, it says maximum, oh, I'm sorry, second degree manslaughter, I'm sorry, is maximum of 10 years in prison. Yeah, I think that's, that's the, big fine. the big thing is it's actually intent, J, and then the maximum time they can actually uh, right. charge you. So. My thing is, I don't, <clears throat> bro, I, it's, it's just, it's no excuse whether it was an intent or not. Like, for you to mistake a taser for a handgun, I said on a normal traffic stop, I mean, I actually been trying to look and go into detail for the reason for her even having to pull her tires out and use it on this 20 year old boy well um, that, before you go bro that's been my whole take yeah. since forever man it, it, I mean, we ain't gonna go into the fact that it was a mistake that she pulled her tires out versus a gun my thing is why are you pulling anything out on a fucking traffic stop that has to that 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 whole process has to change, man. It's traffic. I mean, we 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 been through this again. I'm just just gonna say, it, Jay, uh, my wife, my life is not worth a traffic stop, and that's what it's turning into. Because they they're gonna escalate the situation no matter what. They are going to escalate the situation. And what I mean by that is their fear. Was he a threat to them? He jumped back in the car. Yeah. And that, that's the part of this that I hate so much. I, I, I really do. And I know this is not common. And I know people going, and I'm not saying this to offend anybody, because I am definitely on the side of Dante in this situation. But I can't help but to think. I cannot help but to think, y'all, if if he wouldn't have jumped back in that car. You know what I mean? And I, I hate that because I know this is what they're going to use. Mm-hmm. I understand it, it what you're saying, bro. But it doesn't make it right. Still, though, right, right to take it. No. Stop trying to play. Stop but, trying to be a detective. Stop trying to investigate other so shit. Th- this if you pull in, pull it over for traffic, write the fuck the ticket and move the fuck on. So this is what... So I, I understand what you're saying. This but he is also what, had a so, warrant. So, and this is what Tony is saying. Like we, we have to get to the point where 
to any to like right now as far as with with, with this, we have to you know, we, we pretty much have to comply. De escalate, I think, is what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because in this situation, even though, like you said, other things could be taken different, but it, it, it's not. You know what I'm saying? These police officers are trained to do such and so, such and so. You know, you, you got the ones that's, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, that take, you know, to take advantage of stuff like this. So when, so when bro say, like, by you jumping back into the car and by you already having a warrant, that didn't make things better. It almost go back yeah. to uh, when we was watching uh, that movie. Um, uh, what was the yeah, one with, with, the name, with, with the dad and the son yeah. and, and the police killed the son? Oh, uh, and how the I dad was trying to uh, explain to the son. No, the spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how the dad was trying, trying to explain to the son, like I understand that you, you, that you, you, uh, you know your rights. You know, yeah, get you know what I'm saying. You, 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 <laughs> you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying that he told him like I, I understand that you, you know what, you know what I'm saying that you, you, you know your rights and you understand what's supposed to go on. But at the end of the day. I we know. are looked at different, so at, we, we 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 can't go go off of that like everybody else can. So, yeah. like I said, if anything, and like I said, and it's not nothing against him. I'm just saying, as far as how right. we operate with the, with with police, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just can't because I even look at it when my man's that got paralyzed, that got shot in the back, even though he, you know what I'm saying, he didn't deserve none of that. But by him even turning his back to the police and 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 going back to his car, like, and by what the police did was. Absolutely wrong, you know what I'm saying. But like I said they they try to use that different. Like, well, he was going back in his car. I didn't know if he was reaching for a weapon and all this. And I, I, I you know agree, I, but I, I I know what Chuck is saying. Yeah, like he's saying that they escalated with their fear. And in this case, I almost it's just hard to say because I I, I don't want to speak for that young man because he lost his life, and I don't want to say the wrong things but I don't know do you think her fear would be exposed had he not jumped in the car and that mistake doesn't happen it don't make it right and it's, it's no excuse for it period because she was a what 26 year veteran yeah, she been what 48 years old she was no I mean uh, she was like a veteran of the force yeah, like she was the force, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she did have clothes yeah, she had, 20, some, yeah, she had some rank. Yeah. yeah, she had some rank, and she was like uh, one of the presidents of some. Yeah, maybe the union you know, or something. Like union, that. Yeah, it's just I mean, for you, it, 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 let me clear this up right now. It don't make it right if if an officer of six months, but I think it's a little more understandable. An officer of six months, it doesn't make it right regardless because you're you're training. You're supposed to know that, and those weapons are not that similar, bro. In weight. It's and not, check the brother, trigger. Me, I it's mean, not just, even about the. Uh, you know, I but, get what you're saying, but it's not even about that. You shouldn't have anything pulled up on you. Well, traffic stop. So yeah, but bro, we've seen so, traffic yeah, stops it's, it's escalate. Traffic stop. Oh, okay, into, you got a warrant. Okay, now the shit finna go down. They finna try some bullshit. I might not survive this. I'm going into flight mode. But but why are they gonna try some bullshit if you just like? All right, Th- I, I got theoretically, it okay. yeah, in the perfect world, well, yeah, why would they go try some bullshit? No, I'm but in the saying. world we living in, yeah, bro, they okay, they found out I got a warrant. This is now the chances on that crease. Now they see me as more of a threat, and I'm, I'm already seventy five percent a threat because I'm black. Now I have that's, a warrant. That's a fact. That kicked it up even more. So now I got a higher chance of fucking dying. So what, bro? So, yeah, so it's, 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 it's but what, your, bro? Your, is your, saying your flight and your Survival instinct is going to kick in. But what bro Get is the saying... Get the fuck in that car and go. No, what bro is saying, what you do after that means a lot, too. Yeah, right. I'm not yeah. saying that, Jay, but so I'm saying So, by you right getting now, in the car and running... That doesn't increase your this, chances that, that, of living when you already yeah. have... Uh, if you know you got a warrant and you're getting agree, pulled over, what, I what, why not? I strongly disagree with certain points, and I'm just going to get off of it like that, because right, right now, bro... We, we all know how we feel when we get pulled over. Yeah, we all have a chance of dying. We, we are all at a higher risk of dying when we get pulled over, the minute we get pulled over. So the only point I was trying to make is at that point, you get pulled over. Instead of always going into flight mode, when does, fuck, y'all got me kick in. Okay, y'all got me. It's you know I'm you saying. got a warrant. How many times did we see, fuck, y'all got me still, get your, get your kill, get your pepper spray, get your taser. And in this case... You're supposed to get tased, but didn't get t- fucking tased. You yeah. got shot in the fucking chest. 
I'm, I'm done with this, bro. I mean, I, 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 I understand okay. your pain, but you're, you're, you're not you're not hearing what he's saying. I'm, 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 I'm hearing. I'm just, I'm just, I understand what he's saying, Jay. I'm just saying I don't agree with it. I'm, how would you not agree with it? So right now, if you get pulled over and you know you did something wrong, you gonna, you going to just run off and just and just give him a reason? If I, if I see that it's about to escalate like that, yeah, but, but he was standing out there, and they were just like, uh, they, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm off of it. I'm not. There I'm was not nothing, there. but there was I'm, nothing. I got you, bro. Crazy you, about it. You go ahead. Going I'm, on. I'm done with this. I you know, said what I said. On. I just, just starting to. I, I, I just wish he wouldn't have even jumped in the car because that, that just gives them reason to act the fucking fool and do stupid shit like this. Bro, they already got that reason to act the fucking fool. You know, that's, no, that's no, no they don't. I got, I got they, what you're they, saying. They, 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 he's, they, they're entitled. They do it because they feel entitled. And this is where we have been. And all, all I'm saying is this young man should not have lost his life, period. But sometimes there are issues where I, that I just be wishing that we would just because we already got our backs against the wall. And like you said, like George Floyd, George was not a threat. The cop was the threat. You know what I mean? So it goes back to what you're saying about. How many times is just complying? All we saw was George Floyd com- complying to the point where I, I'm complying to the point where you got your foot, your knee on my neck. Like something, I agree with you, but I, I I understand why you so passionate about it. I get it. Like it shouldn't, a traffic stop should never, should never go into somebody or, or, or end with somebody losing their life, period. But I, I just... See some things, and we, we'll, it's it's gonna go left. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But there is something about this that I do want to address, and the fact that his mother got the phone call. He called his mother and said that he was being pulled over, and she she said he said he needed the insurance information, and she said that she would you know just stay on the phone. I'll give me a couple of seconds. I'll give them all the insurance information that they need. So in doing that, she said she heard a scuffle and they told him to hang up the phone. So hangs up the phone. She called back, said three times repeatedly back to back to back because she didn't know, you know, what was going on. And to that point, a few couple minutes later, I guess the young lady that he was in the car with, answered the phone and hysterical saying they shot him. So moms never knew that that was going to be her last time talking to her son, 20 year old boy, which just brings me to, to, to something that I I wanted to go into, but I, I clearly can't go into it now because of where this is going. And I'm just looking at it now from her standpoint. You know what I mean? So a lot of this just don't, don't, it, it don't, don't make sense to me. Like it, it don't And some stuff. I guess we can't, we just can't make sense of when it comes to this. All I know is that we've seen it over and over and over again. And on the heels of George Floyd, I thought that we would probably get a break and a little bit of clarity and understanding from the other side. But clearly that's not the case because I, I just I just don't like this trend that's continuing, man. It's nothing that I could say. It's it's such a hot issue topic right now. I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it alone yeah. because it's nothing that I'm gonna say that's gonna make this better. All I can say is that I hope for the sake of Minnesota. It's Minneapolis again, one Minneapolis. I believe so. But for the sake of Minnesota. That Kim Potter, who's the officer who's been released on a hundred thousand dollar bond, for the sake of Minnesota, I'm hoping that they get this right. Because on the heels of George Floyd, with this Derek Chauvin tri- uh, trial going on, and now this, which they'll probably delay this for years because they don't want them two to bump heads. But I'm just praying for the sake of Minnesota that they get this right because. Nothing good is going to come from this. Our trust is already ruined. We don't trust the police. And rightfully so. So I just don't see anything good. You think George Floyd had monumental, a monumental outcome and, and riots and protests. 
behind this 20 year old boy, I think you're going to see something crazy because I think people have already been fed up. So prayers go to that family. Um, Absolutely. Dante Wright, man, prayers to his family, to his mom. My heart goes out to her. 